welcome back everybody to another farming simulator video and in this episode we're doing another um, silage run with well on Melbury Estate and yeah we're basically just doing this to build, build our money up we're not going to be set up we're not going to be selling all the silage only I don't know maybe a couple more trailer loads but we're just going to do maybe one an episode or this might be the last one that I do on camera um, I've already actually shot this once today but for a number of reasons it got messed up but now we should be fine as long as that telehandler follows pretty brisk and what we're going to do later on in the episode after we've done this that's good there we go it's following good uh, what we're going to do after after this is probably feed the sheep and the cows so with sat with proper mi mixed ration and we'll probably uh, bed them down as well if we have time so it might look like I'm driving in the grass which I am a little bit um, but I just don't want the follow me to crash into any of the oncoming cars as I have actually turned cars on now so that could be an issue if they do start crashing into it so we do actually need to um, not speed up, slow down because I know that thing can't keep up so if we do 27 I think that's a steady speed for it to follow now if you don't already know this Melbury estate will only be on a Saturday so once a week and I know I keep mentioning it but just to let people know the schedule I should, I'll probably put it down in the comments actually probably right well probably before my PC specs so yeah um, Monday Tuesday nope no 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 don't want to miss that Monday Wednesday Friday Sunday will be Cobra and just I think it's what day will it be Saturday that I do Melbury Estate so hopefully that makes it around the corner yep perfect and we're going to be heading up to sell this just uh, it, we'll get probably about a th hundred thousand pound off this hopefully as long as the price is good but with silage it's good anyway so I'm not waiting for like a, a boost in silage or something I can offer but it's, it's not doing too bad this truck I do like it because it's four wheel steer on the front like that so you do get quite a uh, quite a good turning circle on it but anyway we'll keep going on this We'll have to take it easy because I know the the uh, what's it called telehandler gets stuck on these posts. But it rolls pretty well. This actually, we'll just wait for it to catch up a little bit. Slow down. Oh, I can hear it, so it should be, yeah it's just there, hopefully it gets around the corner, if not then we'll sort it out, is it doing it, yeah, fantastic, so we'll just stop that there and we'll get ourselves in position, which I suppose yeah what we'll do we'll do it like I did earlier because I, I actually this is a retake I've already done it but I just didn't save it so we'll keep yeah we'll, we'll do it the way that I did it last time I'll show you in a second So 
So we'll just get it lined up. And obviously you can't just tip this straight into the hopper, which is a shame, but you know, realism. So we'll just go into this guy and get it all sorted. Shouldn't take long once we get this set up. Let's we'll zoom out a little bit. Also, if you've got any suggestions on mods or anything, post them in the comments and I'll read all your comments. So I will see it. Now, you'll see the. you can tip it. Now I need to turn the time up just so that it can process it fast enough oh, 58,000 from that I we should end up with about 100,000 yeah 99 there we go so it's as simple as that and as quick as that so just slow the time down again We need to have it like that. Because we do we need the telehandler next. So in fact we need it on follow me as well. So we'll get that set up. Jump back. I just hope I can get round here. Quite a bad spot this actually. Especially for follow me to do. Should have probably turned around. It'll probably get stuck there, but we'll just sort it out if it does. Thank God there's no traffic on this road. It wouldn't work anyway because it it wouldn't know to pull in and stuff. Just end up running into you. And this guy's doing fantastically. I know it's unrealistic doing this, but really I can't see any other way of doing it unless we put it on a low order. But then we wouldn't get the low order in, so. If there's any other good ways to do it, then. There we go. Past it. Then I'd like to know. I know there's some that fold up, but they only fold up to that size, so. I'm not seeing any other ways. But we'll take this back running up a lot smoother with no waiting and tomorrow there will be an episode of Cobra Part Farm so I'll stick around for that that's a map that you like Probably going a bit too fast here actually. In fact we can actually put the window down in this truck and you can open the doors I think. I forgot what key it is. It's like something I can't remember now. But anyway, we need to wait for that to catch up. Good. And pull out. I'm glad that the traffic's not that dense on here. And also, what I'll have to do is um, for Cobra Pipe Farm, I'll have to get the traffic speeding up mod. I'll do it after I've uh, recorded this. If I remember. Now this, um, I'm actually just gonna.
park this or in other words dump it at the side of the road I know it's unrealistic but because I'm gonna go down there in a second and I might as well take all of it down oh hang on yeah so what what I can do is instead of running up and down cars should be able to get past there anyway forgot which way this drops I think it just drops like that yeah there we go see if cars can get past yeah that's fine so we'll just go into here put four wheel steer back on I think what key is that to pull up the hood up um, oh four that's the one that we want so we need to pick up the bell fork which isn't here oh I need to buy it don't I so I sold it because we had this as a multiplayer game right I get it so We'll buy the fort that I like. One, two, four there. Um, front loaders. Now it's one of these. I think it's that one. If not, then we're just gonna have to try them all. So we'll reset it. And I know it's unrealistic resetting it and driving through a field to pick it up, but can't really help that and I think that's a different crop that's planted there so that might have to be ploughed in nothing brilliant well at least we know it's not the first one I, I, I've i done it before but I always forget so I'll buy the second one and go into go into the garage and sell that one reset it now, I think it's this one one of them's for tractors, one's for telehandlers and one I don't know what it's for yeah it's that one so I'll try and remember that for the future, it's the second one got a bit of a lag, lag. Can't be off the bail forks. Well, so it can't, could be. Um, turn the lights off. We don't need them on. Yeah, I tried out some other ones that Alex gave me. Um, but I, I didn't really like them anyway. So we only need one of these because we've only got a small mixer. We should have bought a big one. Oh my god. I always hit the wrong button. I need to buy a new mouse as well. So if anyone's got any good suggestions. I don't mind paying like... I don't know. 50 quid or 50 pounds US uh, UK currency um, I want something with a you know a nice feel to it but I want it a high DPI or adjustable because the one that I've got now like that well hang on that is one mouse movement and I want it to be like that Hopefully we don't not Yeah, hopefully we don't do that. That weight's in the way a little bit there. Although I should have probably pulled the trailer out. Let's 
I'll drop that in and you'll see why I didn't go down there with that thing uh, with that conveyor belt so you can drop that here and go and pick the conveyor belt up as we're going down there anyway should be good enough so we'll hook that up to follow me that will change the steering there we go so control F which is follow me and we'll take this one down fill it with silage to make a good mix mash mix mash Mi mixed ration I took it wide there. But anyway, oh, it's gonna crash! It's gonna crash! Come on, go, go, go! We're gonna have to drive through a tree. I knew I shouldn't have gone as wide as that. all good. So now we've got to cross the... Whoa. Why did that do that? I know this is unrealistic, but I didn't have anywhere really to stop. Or should I go or should I wait for the black van? No, we're going. Come on. Come on, come on. I think it's the delay. I just hope nothing crashes into it. Because that, oh, it's going to be right on the spot. I couldn't have done it better to hit the truck. Oh, this is like the most professional job ever, this. Right, drive. Come on. No, it can't find it. Right, come on, let's go. Follow me is helpful, but not, not really with traffic. Because it's such a delay to set off and turn. Well, that's grown anyway. So we can do some silage if we wanted to. Although we don't really need to. In fact, I need to stay on the side of the road just in case traffic comes. Now I know that telehandle is going to crash, just how it works. Now this can stay in the shed because we don't use it often. Un unhook that. Stop it from crashing anymore. And that can actually just stay there to be honest and stop that. This can be stood up I suppose. Can be it. Well it's not gonna go inside, so we'll just drop it here. There we go. Now there should be a shovel somewhere or a bucket. Yeah, it's in that shed. I need to remember to put the arm down as well so it doesn't jump up as much. Now how much do we need? If we put this on... Um, right, so it's got 44% in, so... 22% oh, was bales. So we need, tw we need another 22% in there. In theory. Enough. 
so yeah extend the arm a little bit the the um the wall's going up anyway probably not the best place to stop it to be honest let's put four wheel steer on There we go. Let's just re have another shot at that. There we go. So we want to go to. I haven't seen it. It was 60 foot, 66%. Or thereabouts, just to get a good, good ration. One, sixty-two, sixty-three. There we go. Now let's just check that in the Unimog. Oh, I know what's happened. It pop-up comes up for some reason. Um, so it normally says it's the thirty-three. Now that isn't bad mix. Well, not by my standards anyway. So it's only like point whatever that it's actually off. Good job we only put one in and not two. But anyway, that'll do fine for me. Only got a little bit left in the bucket. So we'll just take this back. Probably have to feed them again soon, but just dump that back there. I probably need the telehandler as well. There we go. Yeah, we will actually because there's um, sheep to do. Maybe not in this episode, I don't know yet. And there's the bedding for the cows. Right, we'll have to uh, be careful of traffic now. Bit of a blind bend that. But we're good to go. Thing was this, it's got you know it's got a PTO and everything so it's like just a really fast tractor to be honest. more than capable of doing jobs like this. Probably speeding along there, but who cares? Oh. Probably shouldn't crash either. So I'll we'll just feed them. And I, I I always forget to put that on. The beacon. Now I'm hoping that you just drop them in here because you can't get in the bit to clean it out, I don't think, without going in the other side. Yeah. So it's letting you do food. I don't know how much it will take because I don't think we have many cows. I should probably buy more actually. Well, it's emptied it, so now we just need straw. I'm 
Now, I think what we're going to do is... Oh, that are a bit weird. Um, I think it's the, this is one for the tractor. So I, I shouldn't have probably sold it. It's just easier than going to get the telehandler. So we'll jump into this. That's a problem. I have to move this out of the way. This is a good mod though. I like this. And I know what's wrong with this as well. Needs these on. To pick it up. Like that. There we go. We'll just collect the bell spike. They're not expensive, so I don't mind if we have to buy them and sell them and whatever. Oh, it's facing this way this time. The first time it was facing this way, uh, the other way, then the second time it was that way, and the third it's this way. There we go. So we'll go and load a couple of these in. In fact, there's one back there, isn't there? That didn't fit in a stack. So we'll pick this one up. Sprung off then. Probably because of the angle that I'm at. Now it's at even worse of an angle. I should get it there. There we go. Now, people don't actually know you can do this, but you can, and you can feed them. Uh, you can do the bedding with the mixer. Now, I just hope it can take two. Two more. It should be able to. Then once they've put this in, they've, you know, we'll have some to uh, shovel out as well and use on the land so that should be good for me we'll put this in the shed we're not using it and I need to do more walking like from tractor to tractor instead of jumping all the time that steering is really bad look at that, that's full lock set that off and get a nice uh, screenshot but as you can see it's taken it all I think it's taken it all oh no it hasn't I'll just show it so I don't know if buying more cows would help or not but we'll just leave it at that and put this in the, in the shed And I think probably next Saturday we'll probably do the sheep and maybe a bit of harvesting at the same time. Something like that. It's not easy to reverse with this Unimog. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And catch me tomorrow for Cobble Pipe Farm at a similar time. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.